I got a curry man this Sunday on New Year's resolution. You have a match scheduled with the so called skinny man, but he's also one of your best friends. And the See? title will be on the line in a steel cage match. No holes barred. Anything goes. So how do you feel? You see, anything goes. My skinny man friend, this is Fat Bastard speaking. You can talk about the highs and lows. We've been the greatest tag teams you can imagine. We've been around the world. We've been in the Far East, the States, Europe. But it's time to do your own stuff now. I've been watching your back. As you crawled and you suffered in the rings with other hands and then you tagged me in, I come out, I defended you very well. But then when I took the initiative, listened to the advice of doing it yourself, I did it. I screwed you so I could make my own impact. Sorry, you became my victim. Now you are going to be my victim. A British uprising. You want my belt? Come and get it. Open invitation. Don't make a difference to me. Anything goes, yeah? Well, come in that ring. I'm going to crack open your head with my big belt. The heavyweight belt. That's the only clothes you'll get. That's the feeling, the taste you get with your blood. All spilled on my belt. When I say I'm still standing, the champion, anything goes. Even the iron will be between your little scarred face. All the wrinkles you got will make you young. I'll make you save money from plastic surgery. Anything goes. So if you want to make it a hardcore match, you know what you got to do. Contract signed. Pay-per-views there. Train yourself as much as you can. Because this little baby ain't going nowhere. Jason. Mm. Or known as Little Slim Boy. Mm. You got a match with... The big man, the fat bastard, mm -hmm. coming British Uprising for the heavyweight belt. He screwed you, now you got your chance for revenge. Mm -hmm. And not only that, make yourself number one in this industry. What you got to say about that? What I got to say? Well, fat bastard, you've been in my shadow all my life. You remember, it was me who put the stable together. Do you remember when you had nobody? Everyone turned your back on you. But it was me, the skinny boy, as you refer to me as, who picked you up. Who made you to this champion? And what did you do last pay-per-view? Because you knew uh, you was the champion. I had a number one contendership with the showstopper of HBK Shawn Michaels. What did you do? You tapped me with this iron. Still feel the, the pain, the scars that ranged my face. But no, I talked to the big guy up there. The Kung Fu Master, Bruce Lee, and he told me the only way for payback is a steel cage match. So, fat bastard, this is my stipulation. And after, ten, after the pay-per-view, this Sunday, I'll walk out the new FWA heavyweight champion of the world. Now, you tell me that we went on these other rosters as tag team champions? But who did the more pinfalls? Who did the more submissions? And who made people bleed to death more? I think it's yours truly. But argument aside, we we'll put it to the test. Who in this former friendship is the best? Now, cameraman, be prepared. Because I'm going to rain terror. And terrorize him. Now, can you handle that? Slim Boy, congratulations. You have just become the new World Heavyweight Champion of FWA. Mm -hmm. You've made him suffer. You said what you said. You promised what you promised. So, what are you going to do to Fat Bastard? Mm -hmm. What's your reaction at this moment in time? My reaction right now? Oh, sorry, man. I was just like, oh my god. The adrenaline, my energy went into this match. So, he was my. When I went to the ring, leading up to this match, I had hatred for this guy, you know? He took away what would have become a fantastic relationship for this industry to come.